Our handles are spring-loaded to ensure they don't rattle, reducing noise when riding. Metal Mule. Engineered to be different. Proud sponsors of the bike reviews on Adventure Bike TV. Okay, so you see in front of me a KTM 1090 Adventure R, but do not worry, we are not reviewing this bike. I know we've done it already. What we're doing this month is reviewing probably the most important thing about adventure bike riding outside of choosing your bike, and that's your choice of tires. So we've got five sets of adventure tires. So by adventure tires, we mean tires that can do 50% on-road, 50% off-road. And to help me with this, I've got Mark Molyneux, who does our yeah. adventure bike riding tips. So Mark, just talk us through the types of tires we've got for the review today. Okay. Well, we've got five sets of tires um, supplied to us by Cambrian Tires and Trelly Sport. They've helped us out on the test, which is really good of them. We couldn't have done it without them. Um, on the bike is the new Anlas Capra X. I've never even ridden a bike with these on, so it's going to mm. be interesting. Um, also, to follow that, we've got um, the Mitas Dakar E09. We've got the Pirelli Dakar R. We've got the Carew 3s and the trusty TKC 80s. So, very varied through their designs. Um, and I think it's going to be very interesting to answer the question that's the most asked here. What's the best tyres? We don't know. So, in terms of trying to give them the most thorough workout we can, yeah. just talk us through the test that you've devised okay. for us. Well, what we've got, we've got um, a 10 mile off-road test, which will take us around a third of Sweet Lamb and that will take us out down onto the A44. From the A44, we'll head into Hafod, Devil's Bridge, do a loop round the dams all on the road, um, and then make our way back in off the 44 again and do the 10 mile test again. So it's gonna take us a while. We could be out up to two hours doing this test, and we've got to do that five times. So um, there we are. Fantastic. And just to make this test the most realistic we possibly could, we added one more element into it. We decided to test in the rain. Now, why might you ask, have we decided to test in the rain and on the wet roads and the wet trails? Well, I think it'd be fair to say that any of these tires on dry roads in the sun, they're gonna be pretty good and pretty hard to tell the difference between. However, ride them in the rain and it's gonna make the differences between them seem that big. Um, we've just come back in from testing the Capra X by Anlas. Um, overall on the road, I was quite surprised how good it was. It did feel good and it's hammering down with rain. Still steered nicely, good on the brakes, held a line in the corner very well even though we were trying just to cook in it a little bit, but it still, it still was very, very good. Now we've adjusted the tyre pressures and we've put more of an off-road tyre pressure in, which I know a lot of people don't like the idea of knocking tyre pressures out, but the, the difference in the bike is chalk and cheese. It's really interesting because Mark and I come at this from two very, very different angles. Uh, Mark's instructor, lifetime enduro rider, motocross. is used to going fast with lots of grip all the time. I spend 95% of my time riding on tarmac trying to find that grip and only 45% of my time off-road. So I'm coming from the bottom understanding more grip compared to what I'm used to. That bike was a different uh, animal with the tyre pressures, softer. I found with the hard tyre pressures it felt very woody and the suspension felt a lot harder. There was no give in the tyres at all. Now Lee's knocked them back down to uh, 25, 20, uh, 25, 20. Um, there's a lot more feel, the bike stops faster, there's a little bit more grip um, and it actually steers a little bit slower but it actually steers as accurate. Um, overall, at trail ride speed, they are, they're really good, very impressed. On the road, the same, very good. Here's the sheets, what's, um, what's Molly's scores? You're not allowed to know, the point of the test is that you do it on your own, you can't check other people's answers. So you're just not going to fill it in? <laughs> <laughs> Pit crew today, the big green tyre changing machine, the green. <laughs> and his dad Pat, who's my instructor here at Sweetland. Um, can't say enough about these guys. 
absolutely golden people. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever had a pit crew. <laughs> and you better ride into a garage and the two guys there waiting to do everything for you. Yeah. What can I say? Thanks guys. It's extremely wet. I think it's about the wettest I've been. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Carew 3, on the road, very blocky. It did feel extremely blocky. Um, didn't really enjoy it too much. The capper had got a little bit more feel out the corner. I felt the Carew was just a little bit, got a little bit of movement. Plus, I had the red light on a couple of times, so it's spinning out the corners. So, it wasn't. You know, I didn't want to push it any more than that. Um, when we came back and dropped the tyre pressures out, uh, with those tyre pressures on, it feels less blocky, but uh, the controllability is more. It's more predictable, it will slide longer. So if you were just like trial riding tyre for tyre, there's not a lot between them. But when you push the Carew, it will come to you and it will stay where you want it on the throttle. So if you're on the throttle hard and you're sliding it, it will stay there whereas the capper didn't want to stay, he just wanted to go. If you take a close look at the tyre, Pat's just picked it out. When this tyre's come back in, and it's pouring with rain, it's actually drying out in the centre of the block around the tyre. So there is some heat getting into this tyre, even though it's wet, so obviously the compound of the tyre is, um, is different to the others. You can actually see it coming to that tyre. It's surprised me quite how much of a difference I felt in the first two tyres, both on the tarmac and on the trails. So when I came past the car, I was overtaking it, giving it some beans, and with the Carew, the wheel was really, really spinning up, which first of all, I thought might be down to the fact that I was crossing the white lines in the middle of the road, so they're a lot more slippery. So I tried it again without those, same thing, and exactly the same thing on the trails. The difference was incredible. I'm not quite sure exactly why, but I do have a theory. So this is the Capra X. And if you look at the tread of this, it's alternating and there's big gaps between the tread and the middle. So I couldn't really feel much of a difference, particularly turning in the front. I just don't think I'm a skilled enough rider. But what I could feel off-road, pulling away hard and pulling around corners, was this gripping far, far better. The cap gripping far better in the corners than the crew, because the crew's much, much less space in the middle, so it's got far less kind of digging grip, so to speak. Can't wait to see what the rest of them are like. from riding the Pirellis. Um, I just couldn't fault them on the road. Um, I thought they were brilliant. No tyre noise or very, very little of it. Lovely feel, turns into the corners nice. Uh, it, it's just like riding the road bike. It, it, it is that good, the feel's superb. Um, and that's all I can say about it really, it just feels that good. For me, so far on three, top, joint top on the road, so far. Um, okay. I've just this minute gone off the bike, the Pirelli uh, rallies, ours. Um, uh, I don't know what to say really. It's just, I've tried to ride every bike the same, I've tried to be the same, and I've tried to do the same things wherever I've been on the same bike. Um, that was quite scary. Um, I've overshot two corners, uh, no reaction when you shut off the throttle. Um, didn't even attempt the grass, just just came off at the bottom of the grass. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't see anything other than a gravel road. That's about a lot with that tyre. Um, I couldn't get up the grass. I certainly wouldn't take it down the grass. I wouldn't even chance it. Um, I don't think that's about enough said with it, really. So, been riding the pretty Scorpion STR with a lot of tyre pressures. 
uh, off on the trails. Obviously it's better than riding it with the higher tire pressures, but it's still not got a lot of grip. Particularly when you go anything muddy, grassy, I mean the gravel is, is, is still not great, but muddier, grassier, really, really, really slippery, which particularly came out when I was doing the run out the gully, where there's lots and lots of mud to get out. I mean, it was just spinning, 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 probably more so than any other wheel, uh, any other tyre that we've used so far. So uh, I think actually the gully probably says it all. I just remembered there was one other little bit, uh, an example of where um, my lack of grip on this tyre almost cost me the rear end. And next to the farm gates at Sweetland, we've got what they call the easy overs. So if you can imagine a cattle grid shaped like that, so a sheep can't get over it, but a bike can ride over it rather than the gate. Went over one of those, normally not a problem. Sometimes give it a little bit of juice on the far side of it just to move up the hill. Rear end, straight, straight out, not quite dropping it. Right, end of day one, three tyres down. Tomorrow yeah. we've got, which ones? Uh, TKC 80s tomorrow and the Mytas E09 Dakars. Okay, yeah. and with the full cost from us, about the same that as the same. Yeah. yeah, wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is good, because we're going to be comparing. Uh, that's a good day. comparison, yeah, 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 that's fair. So, good day's work, time for yeah, shower yeah. and food. Shower and food, bring right. it on, yeah. Our revolutionary patented Q-Fit attachment system allows panniers to be removed and fitted in under five seconds. Metal Mule. Engineered to be different. Proud sponsors of the bike reviews on Adventure Bike TV.